how to transfer airtable attachments to google drive automatically so in this video i'll show you that whenever multiple files are added as a new record into the airtable how the files will be downloaded automatically and will be uploaded automatically into a specific google drive folder yes it is possible multiple files can be automatically synced with your google drive folder you just need to build a connection in airtable and google drive with the help of an automation software so if you also want to sync your airtable and google drive application come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step so this is my Airtable account and here as soon as I'm going to add a new record along with few attachment basically I'm going to upload multiple files here you will see how those files will be added automatically into this specific folder I do not have to do anything manually I just need to connect these application once with the help of an automation software and that is Pabli connect via which I'm going to connect Airtable and Google Drive well it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can connect multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect i will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of amazing automation in your account that to every month i am already an existing user of pabli connect so that is why i'm clicking on sign in and then i have clicked on access now and this is how i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect i'll have to wait for a few seconds now after reaching out to the dashboard you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so i am going to paste a name something like add airtable files to google drive automatically okay now click on create and now you will find two boxes in front of you these are trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application automatically and here according to our use case whenever multiple files are uploaded into the airtable application automatically download those files and upload it into the google drive application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i'm building the automation in airtable and google drive so that is why the first application here will be of course airtable and i want that whenever i'm adding a new record into the airtable this automation should trigger so that is why as a trigger event i have selected this now i'll have to connect my airtable account with the pabli connect so that we can capture the airtable data firstly in to the pabli connect and then we are going to send the same data to the google drive application and it is asking for the token so i am going to click on this particular link and from here exactly i will actually get my token okay so where is the token i'll have to check for that okay here you can see the token is here i'm going to copy the same and then i'll be pasting the same token here and clicking on save and you will see how the airtable account will be immediately connected with pabli connect okay it is connected now it is asking to select the base so whatever the bases i have created into my airtable account all of them are started visible here since we are connected and i'll have to connect to which base basically this daily files images to upload okay so let me search for the same daily file images all right here you can see daily files images to upload okay and as soon as i am going to select this base the table will be automatically get selected here you can can see i have the table as table one only all right coming back it is asking to select the trigger field well you will have to read the instructions create a field in your table schema with the field name created and field type created time okay uh, repeating this again uh, create a field named as created and field type created time okay so as per the instruction i am going to click on this plus icon and as per the instruction here i am going to give the name as the created only and the type will be of course the created time again as per the instruction okay you can select your date and time format from here and click on this create field and here you can see i have created a new field here as the created okay coming back here and if i am going to click on this refresh button you will see it will automatically capture that trigger field that is created okay after that you will have to click on the save and send test request button and you can see here it has given us a response but currently the response is blank because currently we do not have any record added
added here okay so firstly i am going to add a record here and then i am going to click on this button once again and you will see how it will automatically capture the very same data into the pably connect and it works every 10 minutes okay so you'll have to read this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes so whatever the data i am going to add here okay so firstly i am going to add the data here so let's say i am going to uh, upload the images i'm sharing the images with my team okay so today's images and here let's say i'll be writing the date today's date okay 14th of january okay today's images 14th of january and here i am going to upload all the images of the today's date of the current date which i would like to share with my team via this a table okay so i'm going to click on desktop and here i am going to share some uh, thumbnails okay which i have created for my team all right so let's say i am uploading these thumbnails this thumbnail also and i am going to upload let's say uh, one two three four five I'm uploading these five images into my Airtable account. Okay, click on this upload button. All right, it is getting uploaded. All right, so uploading is done. And here, now when the uploading is done and now when I'll be clicking on this button, you will see the same data will be captured via Pably Connect. And did you see that the response is received? Let me show you the details one by one. All right. So the fields file name is actually today's images, 14th January. Here we have the date and time. And here we have the URL of those images, which I have just uploaded. Okay. Let me show you that these are the same images, which I have just uploaded. All right. This was the first image. This is the second image. Okay, no, actually, this is the uh, type of small URL. I'm sh I will show you that where is the second image I'll have to check. Okay, here we have the attachment one and that was the attachment zero, I guess I'll have to check. And yes, uh, this was the attachment zero. I'll have to search for the attachment one. Here you can see the attachment one URL. This is another image, the second image. All right, coming back here. Now I'll show you the attachment two URL. Where is that attachment two URL? All right, here it is okay so this is how uh, did you see that did you notice that how uh, pably connect has captured all the images all the file url which i have just uploaded into my airtable account now i am going to upload the same data to the google drive but how i am going to do that because pably connect always upload the data one by one but currently i have multiple data all together okay so for that i'll have to firstly capture the same response into the advanced format so i'll have to disable the simple response button and clicking on this button save and send test request once again and you will see all this data will be captured into the array format here you can see into this fields attachment you will be able to see that all the urls i have now into this array format you can see that okay so firstly i have captured the data the same data into the array format now in order to execute this data one by one i'll have to apply one more action step that is iterator via which you can process the data one by one okay i'll show you i will even show you the instruction that at the time of workflow execution it will process all values one by one okay so the automation will be executed uh, but one by one okay and in this choose array you will have to map the same value which you have received via public connect here and mapping is very simple i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here if i will click on this particular field i will be able to access the response of my a table here in the drop down you can see here i have the array i have mapped it now if i'll click on this button save and send test request you will see that i will get the image url of only one image okay let me show you the response one by one okay so the response is received here we have the id the weight the height and here I have the URL the thumbnail URL okay let me show you send birthday wishes at a specific time automatically and if I will show you other URLs these are the URL of the same image but this is the small URL this is the large URL okay let me even show you that it is the same image but in the small format and again it is also the same image but into the large format I have actually received multiple formats of the same image but currently I just have one image at a time.
time i have received one single image at a time okay so this is how with the help of iterator step i am able to execute the data one one by one okay now when i have the data one at a time i am going to upload it into the google drive so you will have to click on this plus icon and search for the google drive here since i want to upload the data here only and in the action event you will find several action events so i'm going to select this upload a file action event because i would like to upload the data okay you can read here upload files to your google drive root or any folder okay clicking on connect and now i am going to connect my google drive account with the pabli connect by clicking on the sign in with google well i have already made the connections earlier also so how about i go with this existing connection instead of signing in once again into the google drive okay click on the save button and you will see the google drive account will be connected with pabli connect now it is asking to uh, it is asking for the url basically enter the public file url to be uploaded and maximum file size should be of 50 mb and allowed file formats are mentioned here okay so again i am going to map the image url which i have just received from here into this google drive step and as i have told you earlier i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here if i'll click on this particular field i can access the data the above data here from the drop down simply click on that particular field and this is how the data will be mapped and what is the importance of mapping so whatever the data i am going to map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time so basically what will happen this url will be replaced automatically when we will receive the new image url okay so that is why mapping is important here and this is how uh, this automation is going to work now it is asking for the folder id here you can get the id from your google drive folder okay so in whatever folder you would like to upload your content your file you will have to copy the folder id right from here okay after the slash you will have to copy these numbers this is basically the folder id so i have the folder as all the attachments and files and here is the id of the folder and you will have to paste the same id and what file name you would like to perform you would like to provide here okay so enter the file name files will be saved by the same name in your google drive please include the file extension with the same name example video one dot mp4 so i am going to map the file name again from the iterator step only okay so do i have received any file name from here i'll have to check yes you can see i have the file name as image 6 png okay since i have not provided any name to my images so that is why it is simply showing image 6 but assume that you have provided a dedicated name to your image so this is how you will receive the very same image name the file name here and you can map the same name into this file name okay clicking on this button but before that let me first open my uh, google drive folder and let me first close all the data all the tabs which i have opened okay clicking on this button finally and waiting for that document to be uploaded automatically all right and here you can see that one image has got uploaded has got uh, downloaded and uploaded automatically into my google drive folder and in the next 10 minutes why in 10 minutes because here it has clearly mentioned that the trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes okay so in next 10 minutes the other files will be automatically uploaded into my folder okay so this is how now onwards you can entirely automate this process now onwards you do not have to manually uh, download the files and upload it to the google drive the files will be uh, downloaded automatically the multiple files will be downloaded automatically and will be uploaded automatically into the google drive you do not have to do anything manually simply set this automation inside pabli connect once and here uh I'm going to show you one more thing that I have applied this Google Drive folder, Google Drive step directly with the upload file. But just in case, if you want that, on receiving every new record from the A table, if you want to create a new folder and then you will have to upload a file into that specific folder, you can also do the same. For that, you will have to click on this plus icon once again, okay? And again, it is completely up to you. It is completely your choice whether you would like to create new 
new documents on every new record or you would like to upload the files directly into single folder only okay so from this google drive action event you will have to choose first as a create a folder okay where is that folder i'll have to check okay all right here you can see create a subfolder i'll be clicking on this uh, create a subfolder clicking on connect and going with the existing connection click on save and now i am going to provide a name okay so asking select the folder in which you want to create a subfolder so i want to create the folder in this main folder only firstly so i'll go with the same and as the subfolder name i can actually provide the name as this uh, file name okay here today's images for 14th January clicking on save and send test request and you will see how a subfolder will be created here and now I can upload these images into this specific folder for that I'll have to first uh, refresh this automation all right and now I am going to map the ID of which folder okay here you can see in this upload a file instead of specifying the id of this single folder i will erase this existing folder id and i am going to map the folder id right from here okay so this is how now onwards every time the new record will be added here firstly a new folder will be created into my google drive okay and then in that folder these files will be uploaded automatically i have already specified the file url here i have specified the folder url basically the basically the folder id of the new folder and the file name is this okay clicking on save and send test request and you will see this folder will be also in this particular folder also the same file the very same file will be uploaded automatically again it is completely up to you that whether firstly you would like to create a new folder and then add a new image here all the images here or you would like to upload all the files into the root folder folder only okay and you just need to create this automation inside pably connect once and after that everything will, will be done in the back end pably connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually simply close pably connect from here and just in case if you want to access this automation into your pably connect account i will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into my description box so you just need to click on this particular link and sign up for free in the pably connect and the same workflow you can access into your account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video